All right. Welcome to the stream. Hope it's okay for everyone. And we're doing it a bit early today because I have a meeting at nine o'clock. So I'm hoping to get be done by then. I think we'll give this two and a half hours or so. Anyway, let's get started. So, um, it doesn't look good in the sense that not a lot of people have finished the first part and not a lot of people have finished the second part. So, maybe we'll be lucky. Maybe we'll be there. Hi, little Lenny. Welcome to the stream. And let's see what day 12 is all about. Wait, I thought you were doing hot springs. Hot springs. Hot springs. Lava shortage. Oh no. Oh. This will be good to Iceland. Woo woo, day 12 indeed. Let's see. Uh, many of the springs have fallen to disrepair. The condition records of which springs are damaged are also... Oh, no. In the giant field just outside, the springs are arranged into rows. For each row, the condition record shows every spring and whether it is operational or damaged. This is the part of the condition record that is itself damaged. For some spring, it is simply unknown. Whether the spring is operational or damaged. However, the engineer that produced the condition records also duplicated some of this information in a different format. After the list of springs for a given row, the size of each contiguous group of damaged springs is listed in the order those groups appear in the row. This list is always accounts for every damaged spring, and each number is the entire size of this contiguous group. So, so four would never would always be four, never two, two. Okay. Oh, the condition records are partially damaged. Some of the springs condition are actually known, for example. Equipped with this information, it is your job to figure out how many different arrangements of operational and broken springs fit the given criteria in each row. Um, in the first line, there is exactly one way to set one way Separate groups of one, one, three broken springs can appear in that row. First three springs must be broken. Must be broken, then operational, then broken. Making the whole row. Okay, second line one each thing could be a total of Okay. Last line is actually consistent with ten different arrangements. Because the first number is three, second is backwards, and uh, first and second question mark must be dot. Um, <coughs> how are the rain run upon spring conditions and mention rays? Let's see what is happening now. All right. This is the day of stack estate. Indeed, Santa Clauses are coming to town in Iceland. I got a uh, apple today. Not bad. Nandi got some Icelandic chocolate. We'll see what Gilead Good will bring. Okay. One arrangement, four, one, one, four, ten. Okay, um, so it's definitely doable per row. So let's uh, just copy this as the example. And uh, let's copy back the uh, 
split on function. I don't think we used it here. Maybe we used it day nine. I'm not having like an immediate idea of how to do this. I mean, that's just one way to kind of generate things and then just checking. Uh, but, oh my God. Seems like that would be very bad. But at least we can try for the example and see, you know, main where. Okay, we got the split on function here. Okay, let's say language Jitsi 2021 ours example we are going to get <laughs> so it's really uh, each row so we're not gonna not gonna generate the uh, we're just gonna have the contiguous blocks, right? Let's say a uh, string. Let's just start with, you know, go through a list of uh, string, comma, list of ints. Okay, parse example equals parse map parse row where parse row stir equals a where okay so we're gonna split on we're gonna have the stir st and the nums we're gonna split on the uh, space Split on space, and then we're gonna just return st, and we're gonna return um, read at list of ints um, We're gonna just add some parentheses around it. A bit hacky, but it should work. Main equals to read file example into print a parse example dot lines gto day 12 day 12 dot hs and Time dee -dee 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 Ah Because it's only gonna be two strings, it's not actually not like a pair. Clearly that read no pars and let's do trace show ID import debug dot trace what is different pars ah okay so split on does discard the initial number okay <clears throat> so we got the Um, so we got the thing. Now let's see um, what we do now. Um, so solve row string list of ints. Uh, let's see. 
let's see, uh, solve row. of empty is equal to one. Okay. And if there's no more numbers and we're just doing one solve row. Okay. If we have a question mark at the start and we have a one here, or an or S. Um, this is just equal to. So then we just do the dot. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is just equal to solve row. Uh, drop one. Actually, yeah, because the next one is either equals um, solve row RSRN. Okay. Solve row. So this should solve the first row, okay? So we're just gonna say print. I mean, it's gonna crash for the second one, but that's okay. Let's see, uh, we're just going to drop the periods, right? <sighs> Dot. RS, RN. So I'll row um, RS, comma, in. Rn case, uh, so we're gonna say um, all equal to this. Uh, so first we're gonna uh, h is equal to let me say uh, h rest is equal to uh, take no. Oh, Split at n rs and all equal to this h is equal to solve row um, rest rn. Okay, I think this solves the first one at least. Because that one really only has uh, one interpretation. Um, let's see. Say what we can do here. 
Um, so we always reduce the RN. Um, so if there is an RN, let's see. Okay. But why does it return one comma one comma three? Ah, it's just because I'm doing this. Right, and I need to actually map and print. So first one is solved. And the second is solved. So I got the uh, because it might be Right, so the two question marks might be different fillings. <coughs> Maybe it's just easier to replace and just generate all the options. That's gonna be difficult though. Let's get the input actually. See how bad it's gonna be. That is a lot of input. Mm -hmm. So then I need to just to generate all the solutions. <coughs> and just check them. Let's uh Let's write that, okay? So let's gonna say, um, so let's just say, uh, check. And now let's go back here. And um, check, we write this. So we're going to say, um, we're going to take in a string and we're going to generate this list of ints, right? So check, um, empty is equal to empty, check, mm. X is, is equal to uh, s span. Uh, let's see. Where? Um, so this is going to be hashes. And H is, and this is going to be rest. Equal to span, equal. 
Also, specifically doing this like with strings is going to be bad, right? So let's not do that. Let's do a uh, parse example. There's going to be a list of boo. Okay. Map. Ah, uh, it's gonna be not a pool. It's gonna be um Yeah, let's just call it a list. Uh, it's gonna be uh, data data entry is equal to uh dot hash unknown where uh, EQ show board it can be a list of entry okay and uh, where to entry start to entry hash equals hash to entry equals um, unknown now let's uh, just check this again Oh no 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 dot hash 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 <laughs> Let's uh, not do the example just yet, just do the check Okay, so now we're gonna say a uh, check um, Arrange Arrangement of a list of entries to a list of ints is okay. So HS is going to be span um, is equal to hash of X's. And then it's going to be um, Length HS uh, drop while equal to dot rest. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we're going to do. Now let's um, let's map demand card first on these examples. And let's see, we're getting the right ones. One one three, one three one six. Four one 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 six five. Okay, and um, we just have the. Let's see where access prime is equal to this. And we just have the issue here that let's see. If null hs then access prime else. Um, length hs colon access prime. Okay, so now we've uh, generated all of them. 
for the check. Let me see the... Where was the check? Oh, here. 113, 113, 1316, 411-165-321. Okay, so now we're going to generate the list of options. It's going to be crazy. Okay, options makes a list of entries. Enter list of list of entries. Okay, options um. So if you have the, if you have a dot, options of empty is empty, options of dot something is equal to map dot um, options hash x is, is equal to map dot map hash options axis options and unknown however axis is equal to um, so then we're going to say where rest is equal to options axis, and we're just going to say um, dot rest. And um, hash rest. Mm -mm. We just generate a list of twos. Ah, right. Okay, this is going to be super, it's going to blow up, but thanks to laziness, it might, might not be that bad. Uh, let's see. Just say park one is equal to string to um, let's just make a string to int part one simple part one uh, simple is equal to stir okay so let me see where um, Let's just make it do one thing at a time. Uh, map parse example. Map parse example. Map parse example. Okay. And let's just see where uh, entries are until uh, 
check is equal to parse example stir let's just see if this compiles i feel like there's a compilation error somewhere okay there's no error now <clears throat> we are going to do a very crazy thing options um, options uh, entries filter Say filter equals check dot arrangement dollar and then um, links. So laziness might actually just make this work immediately for us. Let's see. map oh okay uh, let me see Price show ID. Okay, there's an on 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 on. So it's one one three at least. Let's <clears throat> let's focus on this first one. Okay, and now let's um, Okay, I got uh, It's because I'm always mapping and then I just end up with an empty list. Um, so they should actually be like this. Okay, I got one there. Now let's not trace anything. And uh, let's see how long it takes for all these options. One four one one four ten. Uh, let's see, one four one one four ten. Okay, and the sum of this print dot sum is indeed twenty one. Let's see. I don't think maybe it will work for the input. I think it might work. Okay, it worked. Hello, Yash. Hello. 
Uh, we're doing part... We're doing day 12. We just did part 1, I think. Boom! Part 1 done. Using the extremely naive way of just generating all the options. Um, which is, uh, that's okay. At least we did part one. Um, oh, they were folded up. To unfold around each row, we place a list of spring conditions, five copies of itself. Ooh. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Um, this will not work with our approach, I think. Let's, uh... Let's just do the unfolding manually. Unfold. String to... Ours example. Okay, uh, part one simple. Part two simple is of course just... Um, entries prime. Check prime. Uh, check is equal to concat replicate five check prime and uh, entries entries prime. Let's see how long it takes. Just for the example. How are you, Yashvalo? Nice of you to join the stream. We are doing day 12. Uh, we finished part one with our extremely naive solution. Of course, the trick here is that we would like to... So now we're just generating all of them, and then we, we are... We're, not, we're just ignoring the information, right? We could probably memoize, right? You say that, like, you know, if you have a... If you have a block of three question marks... For the for the uh, it's not even finishing for the example, right? 
and let's see might also be eating up all my memory that would not be good let's cancel this <laughs> yes exactly let's see Okay, that didn't work. So we need to be smarter about this. I like the fact that number one worked though. That was kind of nice. <laughs> we need to... Oh. Replace a list of spring conditions with five copies of itself, separated by question mark. Okay. So it's not even just this one, it's going to be question marks as well. Hmm. How do we deal with this? I feel like if we solve the beginning of the string... Then we can kind of take it by group. Let's see. Let's do that for the example first, right? Uh, or for the part one. So, um, so this is actually concat. Uh, but let, let me just make sure to generate this correctly. Um, and then I'm going to do um, intersperse with from data to list. Okay. Then we have the... Um, we have the... Jackson entry is correct. Okay, so... Um, Let's see, if I have the one there, um, 
what are the possible lists I could generate? Let me see. Instead of doing map, let's just do map M. Instead of taking this out, let's just see how far it is getting actually. Just not compiling it even. That's not good. Okay, it does find the first one quite fast. But then it's doing 16,384 arrangements. That's more than the entire... Um, that's more than the entire input. So the problem is I'm not really getting any good ideas here. Um, I don't know how to like... <coughs> how to proceed, right? Maybe we can kind of recurse somehow. Um, let's tie these together. So if I'm uh, generating, if I'm generating one, if I'm so if I'm looking at one, let's uh, look at it this way, okay? Part one, part one. Not simple anymore. Mm 
First of all, we can drop while... We can drop while it's dots. Okay, because dots don't matter in the beginning. So until we reach a question mark or a... Go. Dot. C's equals go RSCS. Go check. Ah. Ah, that's not a dot, right? And then we get a we get a dot. We just um, go. We're just gonna return that to just see what happens. Put anymore. So we always have an unknown or a hash in the beginning. Okay, now let's um, post it like this. Uh, span not equal dot a unc comma h is unc and h is rest equals okay and then uh, And then we're just going to say immediately, right, let press prime is equal to drop while dot rest. Okay, we have on K and H's and we have CS and we have um, press prime. So then we get three unknowns, and then at least one dot. And um, And we can um, so how many objects can this be?
So I just kind of want to just do this for all of them. Yeah, just separate them into the groups. So... Let's not do the check. Let's just separate them into some groups. Uh, go entries. We're not looking at the entries. The CS is yet. Go drop while. Okay, and this is actually not gonna, we're gonna have it like this, we're gonna have it like, uh, Go Rest Prime. <laughs> Except, of course, uh, Go of Empty List, as you can end list. Okay, so this is two groups, and there's some number of dots between them. Okay, um... Let's see what we can do here. Oh, I'm gonna put an alarm, by the way. I don't miss my meeting. Uh, let's see. Alarm. Scrolling. I have so many alarms. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stop 10 to 9 at the latest. Okay, so here we have. Um, the groups. Separated by dots. And we're actually going to say, this is go and check as well. Just so we can see what we're dealing with, let's close this window. Um, The thing is, now I know So I want to say that so if I if I know if I know all of them So I can kind of I can tell that this hash group here is this 3 here, right? Hmm. And I know that these hashes here 1 1 are the I know exactly, I know that these are both um,
Hmm. We're definitely out of something here, I think. Um... Let me do this for the input. And just on like, you know, take 10, 10 lines on the input. Do it for all of the input. Do you want to see if there's any help in like going backwards and removing, like would work in for the example, right? No, it's pretty much, um, doesn't really help. Let's see, um, This is going to be some comb combinatorics, right? Like for this one, right? It's, it's, it's going to be exactly two ways that I can make one of these be um,
Right. Let's write the selection one, right? Um, we don't actually need to generate that, we just need to... I don't know how to do this. <coughs> I think. Well, let me stare at it a bit longer, and then we can see what happens. Maybe I should not split on dots. Maybe I should be splitting on hashes. Let's see that. too much I think let's see what is the split on function do it's the split on keep which instead of um,
goes like this. Um, And we're going to say, um, off and it's empty. We just do our empty if it got something. So, so it's we're going to be doing R um, yeah, so that was so split on keep Split on keep is not working either. Let's go back to splitting on the dots. on the hash here, Sammy. Between all these groups, there is a dot. And I know that if it says one one, there is at least one dot in between, right?
How does he input look? Let me see. One, five, two, five, three, six, ten. It's never any huge number, actually. Uh, it's always less than ten. Uh, there's one ten eleven. Most of them are one, actually. Let's see. Um, select uh, entry. Select. Now let's see. If I just have one unknown, maybe if I have a N, N ends, and N is not equal to one. Well, let me see. So I have one unknown, and I have a one is equal to uh, just with just the hash and the rest. And if I have um, If I have the case that I have E's and I have N and length ES is equal to N, then I have just Uh, replicate and hash minus so these are only one options Welcome, if you're just tuning in, I'm working on day 12, part 2, and it's proving rather difficult, specifically because I have uh, no idea what I'm doing. It's a special case for two. 
this is going to be either hash dot or dot hash Now let's say uh, select Let's see if we have two unknowns Unknown And we have one in the front Why I should learn Haskell as my first language. It teaches you a lot uh, how to model data flow, I think. I really like it. Um, might not be like the most profitable way to go about it. You should probably learn Python or something because there's just a lot more material out there on Python. But Haskell will teach you a lot right so it's got that going for it which is nice um, do 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 Uh, I don't know how to. I'm trying to. I'm having a hard time modeling this. So first of all, it would be super nice if I could just see the threes there. Um. Maybe I can like pre-process it, right? By saying, you know, there's only one possible solution. Um, we can pre-fill in that solution. Let's do this uh, more efficiently, actually. Uh, span. Mm -hmm, dots.
and this is going to be a map This is any quicker. Could be. Um, doesn't like it though here. Uh, Did this make the it any quicker? No, it's still uh, still four seconds. Doesn't help with optimizations. Oh, they look quicker with optimizations, but it's not like ah, oh, it's super fast now. Maybe I can kind of generate the options and. Instead of generating options and checking, I can kind of fuse the fact that I have the increase. Let's do that. Entry. Int. Mm-hmm. Okay, um... Probably doesn't make sense to do this this way, but let's see. For the docs, we definitely just take a while. I just want to take the um, so if I'm going down the thoughts path then I just take uh, thoughts until I can't Now let's see here. Um, there should be rest, right? Uh, 
I should have it the other way around. Entry, and we have a... Um, CS, and then we, here we have... So what I'm actually going to do is, um, if CS is empty, and I have axis, I want to see a case all, so then the rest of them all have to be dot, if all dot axis, then Next is else. Otherwise, I don't want. So then we kind of bail out early. If we have the checks are empty, options with check. Um, Okay, and if we have if we have any here, but this is empty, then it's we're just going to return empty because then uh, we're missing some hashes. Okay, then we take all the dots until we don't have any dots anymore. So then we can assume that the previous one we hit was not a dot. Okay, so then we write that case. So we say options, we check CCS. Um, Is um, and axis, and we say Okay, so now we are gonna, so the previous one was dot. So now we're gonna say uh, non dots uh, rest span not equal to dot axis. Okay. Uh, is equal to so case. Let's see. Now, if um, So if we took uh, until we found a, didn't find a dot, and we if uh, 
Okay, so if uh, C is equal to length and D, right? Then we just, it, it all has to be hashes. Map replicate C hash onto uh, options with check uh, CS rest. Let's just do here else error show CCS and right here instead of this let's see um, options with check check unknown 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 dot 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 hash hash Hash. Okay, we're hitting it uh, right away. <coughs> Let's see. Um, if we're hitting a hash, if we hit a hash, If we hit a hash, then um, then the the next C have to be hashes. It's just like that. Um, then we just do. Rest is drop C minus one axis. Because then, then we, the preceding one was a dot, and then the next C minus one has to be hash also because we're in a hash group. Okay. Options with check. CS rest. Okay, now we know that we're in the case and we have unknown. We have X's.
Let's see, um, in the year. Actually, we should have this axis at. Drop C here. Okay, let's see. And now we're in this case, the select case again. Except we're looking at. the case. And because we have these empty lists, we've kind of already filtered out a bunch of uh, impossible cases already. Um, One option here is to to make this unknown into a hash. <coughs> so we would have um, and we would do if we make this unknown into a hash, we have to have C hashes. So then we do a map replicate C hash where's C hash is equal to replicate C hash. Uh, let's see, we map C hash, um, C hash, and then So we can uh, so we can either we can make it into a dot. Um, and go. Okay, uh, R S. Let's see do that. So we can make it into a dot. And if we make it into a dot, we just do uh, mm, it's options with check CCS and RS. So these are the options if we make it into a dot.
or we make it into a hash and then we need to make C hashes uh, and then we are saying options with check CS um, and actually drop drop scene when I was one hour Okay, so now it's saying um, hash hash dot So these are the options. Um, So for the first one, it's giving <coughs> very strange stuff. Um, so it's saying Let's just see what it does for the first one. <clears throat> okay, we're supposed to put C's and we don't get any C's and it's empty. Now we can do that. We're doing the dots. Okay, and uh, we if we see the hash. Then we say um let's actually say hashes uh rest is equal to span is equal equal to hash like this and then we're just gonna check here if length hash is equal to C then else
let's see here. Um, and the rest. What is access? Let me see, just see, see is access. <coughs> okay, then I <coughs> I'm looking at one. And three, and uh, it's not one, so then it's okay. Um, ah, I think I have to do map. C minus two actually here because then the next one can't be a dodge. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's uh, take it back here. Um, Access. Okay, so <coughs> I'm looking at an unknown. Maybe something's wrong with my, uh, like the empty product thing. Okay, so I'm looking at unknown here. Let me see. X uh, is. X is, uh, let's see, B, A, B, X, X is prime is going to be, just do A, S, B, S, it's going to be split at C, X is. So, uh, if I can split at C axis, then 
Now let's see here. So case BS up. If this is hash, then we are in in. Then we are ah. If this is hash, then we just want to do. So then this unknown has to be a dot because otherwise we'd be going over. So then we do map dot over options with check. ACCS uh, RS. Now, if, uh, if it's a dot, then we map where C hash equals replicate C hash, E hash, um, Then we do C hash, and then we don't take the C, but we are just taking the. We're taking the BS. BS. Now, if it's an. Uh, Unknown. Then we have two options. <clears throat> mm. Okay, first we have to actually check um, if if not any equals dot in is else. Let me see. If any, if any is dot in AS, then we're in an impossible case. Else, they're all either unknowns or dots. So then we check if we are if we have to make this into a. We have to make this into a hash or dot. But if we don't, then we can either make it into a dot, map dot, let's say uh, is dot, the is dot case is this case. Um, is hash is this case oh sorry then so this is the uh, is dot case sorry um let's just see here 
is that else uh, sorry. let make dot equal to this make dot uh make it hash is equal to this in so if we have to make it a dot we make it a dot if we have to make it a hash we make it a hash if we have the option to choose we simply uh, say map dot then we can choose both okay make dot comma make hash mm -hmm. uh, ah, okay we can actually we have we have to concatenate these <laughs> okay, um Now let me trace a bunch of stuff here. Uh, let's see. A S B S C X S R S. Now, <coughs> I'm looking at the unknown. Let's see. Uh, trace, show, false, possible. show has to be has to be dot dot uh, trace show has to be hash make hash make hash Don't 
make this case simpler um, this is just gonna be a map dot over um, Trace show ID. Let's see. Now we're trying to figure out what is going on here. Uh, true. Okay, so. If we hit the empty case, then this works out, okay? Um, if all of the ones that are left are dots, it's fine. Okay. Here we have a trace show. Precious left. She is. Let me just return here to this. Now she's left. Let's see. So I think we I think this will work. I think I'm screwing up here. If uh, Sunscreen. I think this one is okay. Or I'm making the choice. But uh, it's after I made the choice, and then I'm in the case where um, where um, I 
Okay, so I, I can't be in this case unless there was a dot immediately prior. Because otherwise, I... I, I see, if, if it's a hash, I would always make it a dot. Okay. So if I see a C... Then I can see here. Um, oh, see why AS, BS, and we're just gonna split at C, uh, axis, and then we're gonna say, um, uh, if any equal to dot and then we want a if n equal to dot as then it's false okay else case bs of uh, So if we hit a hash, um, then we are in, in a possible case. We hit a dot. Well, then we're in a great case. So then we just go keep going. Options with check. Check a CSPS. However, if we hit an unknown, um, we have to make that unknown into a hash, into a dot. Option CHXCS and Unknown BS Unknown Access Dot uh, UKS In line 50, there's an on non-exhaustive patterns in case uh, okay All right and if it's empty then we are also going to be empty uh, if it's empty we need to make sure that uh, if length as is equal to c then Otherwise, it's not possible. So what I want to be getting out here is all the valid assignments to... Um, uh, okay, sorry. The problem here is that, okay, I should be doing like this, map as map as
Wait, dot hash hash dot hash 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 and hash dot hash dot hash hash. Okay, so we're almost there, but this first one is wrong. Um, There's something wrong with this uh, make dot cache, I think. Trace show ID. So hash hash dot hash 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 and hash dot hash hash. Yeah, exactly. So in this make dot case, okay, but that's actually because um, trace show. ASBS. Unknown. Unknown, unknown dot hash hash hash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So one one three. Okay. That's basically saying, okay, I made, I made the initial one dot. Oh, I forgot to make map. Then I made the initial one dot. Um, so if I make it If I make it hash, okay, make hash. So this one is make hash, but what I want to do here is I want to say a yeah, map C hash um, to. Um, Options we check CS a same as above, right? UKS a and actually like this dot UKS. And then we get the right one. Okay. Uh, let me see. Trace show. Let me just see one more thing. The BS is empty. Then, um, If length as is equal to c, then c 
Disney hash else just to cover this case. Okay, and um, so now we're creating all of these, but part one. Um, is actually gonna be links. So now we're a lot smarter uh, about how we do it. Let's see if it pays off. First of all, let's see if it actually works on the other ones as well. One one. One four one one two eight. One four one one four. Uh. We're not quite there, but we are moving forward. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, let's see what we can do. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, work for like half an hour more and then we will see. Let me just check what the time for this will be if we make it correct. For the input. Okay, so it's a lot faster for the input. And then, um, I don't want to be, op I don't want to be doing this if it's going to turn out to, uh, do not help at all. Uh, let me see. So how many does the input have? One thousand. Let me see. This was not done. Uh, runway day eleven. Um. Let me see. Step with. Uh, Part two. Map M print. Uh, it's actually going to be one. Okay, it's going, but it's giving zero for some of them, which is uh, strange. So in some cases, it's not counting. <laughs> and then for number 12, it's just crazy slow. Hmm. 
Okay, so it's not really doing it uh, for part two. Let's see for the example. One one sixteen two thousand five hundred. So something I'm missing that's that's providing a lot of uh, oh it's a lot of them. Mm, okay, so one works. So it works for. Work for one, three. It works. It works for one, three, and four for sure. Because it works for both for the one. So it doesn't work one and the other one. <coughs> okay. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see, um... If length is yes, is not equal to C, or any dot, then One four one one two. I think uh, okay. Let me see. Ah, okay, if I'm looking at a... If I'm looking at a hash, and I need to get, yeah, I mean, this, this is correct. Okay. Now if I have any left, I just make this simple. No, I mean, I, yeah, I need to, I need to throw it out if I don't have, uh, if I have any. Ah, if all equal to dot x is, uh, then, 
if all is actually not equal to hash, then replicate uh, length x is dot. That's the mistake, I think. One four one two eleven. One four one one. One one four one one two ten. Let me see, what is the last one doing? Map part one. Um, Let's see here, uh, we reverse the lines and we take, take one and we uh, don't print, we actually print out the possible entries. Oh. Oh, sorry, I was messing with the wrong one. Um, okay, and we are going to say here, take one dot reverse lines. <coughs> And um, we do here instance show. Entry where show hash equals hash show unknown is equal to question mark. Ah. This is the last one, okay, and it always has to be hash, 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 and then dot. And then it seems that I'm doing it in the exact opposite order, but I can do that. Flip that order by just flipping this. <laughs> so hashtag hashtag dot hash okay that one is there and then there's two dots and then three dots and then four dots okay and then two hashes ah there's this last one that's uh, wrong and that's if I make a dot. <laughs> um, and it's because what? Yeah. 
if it the if the last one is an unknown Okay, it's not like that. Okay. Okay, let me see. If length axis is less than or equal to C, then we don't do this. Else, Let ASPS <coughs> What am I trying to do here? Um I don't want to make the hash always want to make the hash I want to make the next one uh, so okay so it's just the same as this one Ah, uh, but then it is like that. Okay, doesn't matter. Then I add uh, hashes in front, and then I go to the... Uh, 10 more minutes. I don't think we're going to solve this in time. Okay, there's one case too much and there's one case too little. <clears throat> and this last one is not possible. Let's just do... Um, You check CS and uh, access case uh, some CS is less than is larger than length. Uh, 
that got rid of that case. Uh, let's see. Mm-hmm. Oh, there are just unknowns not being replaced. Lovely. Um, so one works. Map. Part two. Um, links. One four one one two ten. One four. Okay, but this it should not be. Um, one four. So I'll replicate it with dots. Here I split at C. Uh, this should be replicate C hash, I think. Mm -hmm. Let me see here, where C hash is equal to replicate C hash, so let's start, we do C hash, C hash, C hash. Okay, so now we've got rid of the question mark, and it's still giving the correct one, except not for this one. So to make this a lot faster, I could just compute the numbers directly and not uh, these not make all of them right and then here it will just be like one and two and something like that okay but now we are looking at um, we're gonna We're gonna take part one of the head after we drop five. Now we drop four, okay. We're getting two, but we should be getting or because there are four possible ways to assign a dot there. Okay. So everything is correct except the... Um,
see then we're doing trace show id uks here Okay, and let me see. Um, I gotta stop quite soon. Um, make UKS hash uh, where um, this one is actually Uh, I can actually just do dot colon drop one BS. And then I don't need to look at it. Make and make that mm -hmm. okay let's see what it gives okay Now let's see. Um, we're gonna say here um, access a trace show. Oh, let's just write it here. Trace show. I want to try show here uh, CCS uh, access making dot dash both okay so I guess that one correct it would make the last one hash
making balls. And then we just then write out what make hash was. Hash make dot Alright, I'm gonna wrap up very soon. Making hash, making both. Okay, so here it made both. Okay. Uh, okay, so there it made it. Seems like make hash failed. Alright, sorry, I'm gonna have to cut this for now. I have a meeting in a few minutes. But I think we're getting quite close, and I think if we make this... So now we're in like debug mode. Uh, saying like, okay, we're printing out all the lists, seeing what's happening, all like that. But what we can do later is that we can just make this return a number. Right, because uh, you can see here it's always just just uh, uh, looping, right? Uh, so this is just going to be additions of numbers, right? Instead of returning the actual lists, uh, which I, which should be a lot faster. But okay, thanks for tuning in for today. Uh, I actually I'm going to do the meeting. And then I'm going to start streaming again for maybe an hour and a half uh, or an hour, depending on how long the meeting is. But thanks for tuning in and uh, see you later for a little bit more of day 12. And then we'll see how it goes with day 13. All right. Thanks for today. Uh, Bye-bye. All right, welcome back to day 12, part two. I took a bit of a break. I had a meeting, but we're almost there with this. I'm trying to figure out. I've added a bunch of uh, annotations <coughs> to try and figure out this last case. And it seems to be somewhere here where we... Uh, We are not quite generating. So for this case here, we just generate these two lists for this case here. But we want to generate, uh, you know, there's a lot more options on how to put the hash. For example, you could put the hash uh, right away. Right, uh, but that does not seem to be happening. So, um, let's see. So make hash, making both, right? And then, like it makes the these two, which it made in these two. Um, that was make dot, and that was make dot again. Um, and then this one we need hash or dot star hash star and then these two options were made right so it made this one and it made this one but it seems to have not made um, <clears throat> one where it just says hash right away 
So, okay, so what happens is, uh, is it, we're in the unknown case. So we're not, we're not choosing hash here for some reason. Okay, so let me see. So why do we not choose it here? It's because, um, Oh, we end up with a wrong split. Interesting. I think if you end up with this case and you say hash, right, and then you have to make dots, right? Uh, let me see. Making dot. So we never hit this making dot case. Let me see. Case B as of. Um, mm -hmm. Why is that? So unknown case. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. it's because <clears throat> uh, so here actually we have to say make dot I think. Let me see. See, let me make that here. Okay, now we get Leo's cases at least. So it's basically saying um, if you can't do it, I think maybe we should have it here also. Basically, if you can't do it with the number of unknowns that you're considering, then. Alright, let me. Let's move all these uh, tray shows here. So now I get four here, let me see. One, four, one, one, four, ten. Hey, 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 Felix. Nice to have you back. Let me... Um, cross all these tabs. Let's go back here. Uh, we're supposed to get one, four, one, one, four, ten. <coughs> so we're getting that. Okay, so we're doing... We're doing okay this time. With part two. So I did part one earlier. I worked about a bunch of part two. But it's taken a long time. Uh, let me see. Some map part one. 
Oh, map link. How long does it take for the input? So our first solution took two seconds. This one takes a uh, 33 milliseconds. Oh, and your puzzle answer was 6827. Okay. So we're not correct on the input. Too many left. But we are getting there. Uh, let me see. Let me just see if part two, how long that takes. Takes quite long, let me see. Do we still have, yeah, there was some loop in it before. Where do you generate the possibilities? Uh, I did that before. So I used to, so first I had a function that's called options, right? And this one just generates every single possibility. But that takes too long. So now I have another function that tries to generate possibilities, uh, but with a, like, but with a, keeping the checks in mind but it's um, it's not really working out because it doesn't I mean it works for the example <laughs> that's called part one simple so let me figure out now, because it works for the example here. Let me see. Um, let's see. Um, So what are you going to do? Uh, in read file input and uh, imp l let imp l equals lines imp uh, let's actually just say then Lines. Okay, so we're gonna do a uh, map uh, length. We're gonna take in a line and we're gonna say uh, length part one simple part one uh, L. So we're gonna say filter, uh, filter print filter um, l uh, length dot part one 
length of part one L not equal to uh, part one simple L of imp L. Uh, let's make this a uh, let not matching and then we're gonna say print length non matching so this is good right we have like a uh, reference implementation uh, options with check right so options with check uh, let me just put it here. So then we're trying to say, okay, <clears throat> we have some options, we have some checks, and we're trying to simultaneously generate all options, but only options that are possible according to the check. And then we're using a lot of this, uh, we're using a lot of this um, trick with the uh, kind of we have empty lists that say uh, there's no possibility of this and then that destroys everything else but now we have a list of things where it doesn't match um, so let's just start um, print take 10 map L part one simple L uh, versus part one length part one L uh, of a uh, non matching. Let's change part one simple to not take the length. Uh, so we can see the actual options and uh, oh, sorry. Entry. Uh, Okay, let's just take the first one, try and solve that. Ed. And uh, then we're going to say map m print part one simple and m map m. Put star ln map. Good evening. We are making progress. Sun X. Um, some dollar interleave one X. I don't quite know what you mean here.
Okay. Print NM. Some <coughs> CS is less than length of axis. So this case is where it's um, Okay, let me try that. Um, I still get some non watching ones. Good that we have a uh, reference implementation, right? That we can draw upon. Yeah, that didn't didn't change anything actually. Okay, this is even less. Okay, um... Let's actually sort these. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first two seem to be fine. First three, uh, first four are fine, and then the first four are the same, and that's basically where we assume the two is in the first one, I think. Yeah, it has to be in the first one, okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Mm 
Okay, we can actually drop. Because the initial period is not is the same for both. Just to make it slightly easier to understand. <clears throat> so, I seem to get it right. Except, um, we only make one choice here. Uh, okay. Whereas here, they we part one we choose to make this one dot, but we don't choose the part where like we make neither of them. For some reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we are missing some cases. Um, which is strange, right? Because um, okay, two, one, one. So here we make two, and then uh, one. So it's like it's not taking the option of um, not filling out this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which I think is um, there are no hashes on this entry, so it's all in this unknown thing. So the make dot, then we make it a dot. Which index is this, by the way? Let me see. If I do make hash, let's see. Ah, but then I can't sort because I need to know which one I'm looking at. Okay, it's the first one. That's good. In part one, 
we say trace show c c s yes yes and we just want the head here trace show dollar Hmm. Right, now it printed everything for everything else. So two One one. Okay. Um, let's see. So we split at. So it's a uh, two one one. Okay, we split at. So we split at two. ASBS. And then um, there's no dot in AS. So we're doing case BS of. Okay, and then it's make unknown. Okay, so it's just when the head is unknown, the next one is unknown. Yeah, so then we can make it it's a lot of output. Okay, uh Right, okay, so I think this one is okay. Um, so the here, so for this one one, right, it is this question mark dot question mark. So if it's one, it's a Okay, I think the thing is, we always make a choice. So if we see a dot, we should also actually make... Nice. So now there are no that don't match for the part one simple and part one uh, output we just forgot that we could make the right decision there okay let's see Um, print um, some okay now we get the right answer for part one uh, on the input using our smart method 
but I think it's still gonna be quite slow for part two. The example now part two is where we changed up the string. Let's see how long it takes for the example. A second. Five two five one five two. It does work though. So now Okay, let's take this options with check. And so notice that we were only like mapping over, but we're never actually, um, we never actually read the lists that we are generating. So what we can do is how we can take uh, this whole thing and then just say, we can make it into an integer, func integer function, right? options with check and we're gonna replace that with the uh, calc opts okay um so we don't map over here so this one just means we don't map okay here we do zero um here, there's only one option. So this is actually going to be one. Let's make it a list of ints first. Um, one. Zero, zero. Uh, here we have. Okay, it's just going to be an int, really. Zero, one. Here we don't make anything. Uh, we don't map over it. And instead of we multiply. One. Okay, let's see how fast calc opt is. Read file example sum. Uh, let's just do. Part two prime int and it's gonna be calc options calc opts let's do part two prime here and there's no map links let's just map part two Okay, we got some answer, but and it does make sense. Um, because we're only multiplying and we only have zero and one. Um, but if we get this right. It's going to be quite fast. Let me just see. Uh, 
if it actually makes sense or if it's still going to be too slow for um, the input Okay, so even if we make it correct, it's still not going to be fast enough. Well, let's we'll take and check. So here is really only one option. Share two pluses here both. Nice. Okay, so this one is gonna work <clears throat> um, if it finishes, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna finish. Let me just see how fast it is. For part one. So let's check here. Um, we're deleting. Oh, let's keep this around. For example, okay, now we're doing here um, part one, and then we're just gonna do part one, right? So for part one, we can do it with this calc ops function in 34 milliseconds. Uh, <clears throat> if we do it manually, otherwise, yeah. Ooh. But it's giving the, it's not giving the right uh, answer. So it works for the example, the calc ops function, but it does not work for um, Oh, I changed something back. Oh, I undid too much. Good. Okay. Um So part one is quite good now, but it's gonna it's taking a long time on the input though. You see. Without making this would make it a lot faster.
Okay. Let's see if this helps. I mean, it's giving the same answer at least, so I think this one is redundant. You see. Does anyone have any efficiency ideas here? I think, because I'm just going through it and I'm calculating all the possibilities, right? Um, so I'm not generating anything. I could probably um, do some... Um, some memoizing, right? Because I do think this make hash, um, make dot, they are doing, they sometimes do a lot of uh, repeated work. So let me just keep, um, minimizing this a lot. And, um, One thing I'm thinking of is like we could have like shortcuts where um, okay so what I want to check is uh,
So I can merge these two branches because this one is just gonna immediately crop, right? Let's see. Same here. I have a part of the whole journey. Can you do a short explanation of what the project is about and then a short explanation of what the current problem is? Uh, <clears throat> so we have these hot springs and they look like this. Like there's a map and it says here is one group and here is another group uh, of size one and here's another group of size one and here's another group of size three. Uh, it says one, one, three, right? To say how many hashtags are in uh, an order. But it's damaged. So uh, what we get is we get these question marks instead. And now we have to guess or figure out how many different arrangements there are, right? So here you might have hashtag. Uh, you might have hashtag. So you, there's many ways to fill it in, right? So for this one, it's only one way. But for this one, uh, you say this and three, two, one. Like the first one cannot be uh, a hashtag because the first group is supposed to have three and if it, this one was hashtag, it would have four. So the first one is always going to be a dot here. But then uh, there are multiple arrangements of the rest here. <coughs> so what we are doing is that we are summing up all these different arrangements. Um... But, uh, and then web works great, we're just counting them all. But now we, the problem became a lot harder because instead of just being like uh, this one, uh, the first line becomes all of this, like all of the lines become a lot longer and the patterns are repeated. So everything's repeated five times. Uh, so it's gonna take a lot longer to actually calculate. Uh, and I'm trying to get away with it by a, making like a tight loop and just counting make dot, make hash, make dot, uh, something like that. But what I think I have to do is I have to, um, I have to calculate, like use the, uh, use probability theory, right? So you, there are, there's a way to say this is this many ways to pick uh, a card out of four cards uh, if you have these many options, right? Um, but then I would have to figure out 
exactly how many in some way. But so this one works, right? This this solution here works. It's just not fast enough. Let me see. Let's see how far we get. First, we have to parse all of them. That takes some time. Is not even doing the first one. You see. It's so slow for the first one. Did I accidentally introduce our loop somewhere now? No, I mean, that worked for the. Uh, it's just taking a long time to parse. Oh, sorry. I didn't comment out this sign. The mouth. Uh, It's a thousand lines. And let me see. Let's just see how how much progress we make. This 12th one here seems to be very... takes a very long time. Just um, memoize it.
Okay, let's keep this one as it is, but let's rename it CalCorp's Memo. Okay, this actually returns. Mem. Mem. Cockups, mem, mem, CSX's case, CS, X's. If it's in the map, then return res comma m. Here we're just going to immediately drop. We're not going to change anything. Okay. We can actually just, we don't need this loop here. Yeah, you can see that number 12 just takes an amazing amount of time. So we really need to get around that somehow. Let me see, this is really the same case, right?
Let's see. Right, it doesn't check anymore. Cock up some men. So, uh, <clears throat> cock ops here, men. Cock ops, men. Cock ops, men. So we only we we just do it directly all the time. Uh, here we do comma. We're not really inserting here. It's just when we branch. That's really when we want to. When we branch out, we want to. Cock up to them. M M Okay, um make dot We just do make dot, that's fine. Because then we're just in the loop. But if we do let a I comma and prime equals uh, make hash m m m make dot m this is just a loop otherwise in m m h res h res in uh, MD res and prime prime M and prime. Uh, we delete this in here and we say Oh my god. Sometimes this happens um, in Visual Studio Code. It no matter. <coughs> I just need to copy paste. Let uh, I am. Okay. This is M MH res, and then this is md res comma m prime prime is equal to make dot m prime in mh res plus md res m prime prime and we need to have the where again here And then this one is because it's calling a wrong function. Oh, part one, we don't really need it. Calc ops. But part two prime, calc ops mem.
and then uh, first make hash make hash m it's not giving the right answer it seems to be going even slower um, Can at least give the right answer. Um, there's one and zero, otherwise, it's a. Uh, you can find it in the map and it's correct, or otherwise, it's zero, comma, and okay, we just drop. Okay, zero M hash zero M plus one C address one M. Um, oh no, calcops C C R S make dot M make hash M. Make dot. <coughs> Why is it giving the different answer? Okay, it doesn't even work. So, and it's it both doesn't work and it's slower. So this one is deleted. Okay, I need an even cleverer way of doing this. late also okay it's really not doing this number 12 here what if I delete it is it just that one that's super bad no 
there are more. I feel like if I know the solution to part one, I can use that to solve uh, part two, right? Because we're going to take this string, right? And it's going to be the number of ways you can solve that. Let's see here. So it's one four one one four. One four one one four. So I'll just be uh, Let me try and do the memorization again. Before I do that, I'm just going to simplify this to be a non dot. Okay, and then These will not be evaluated. In so if it's hash.
Z, this is going to be... I'm just trying to join these two branches here. Uh, not to make it faster, but just to make it uh, easier to program. Uh, okay, he's not dot. If it's hash, then this is supposed to be. Oh, then it is. Ah, it is always make hash plus make dot. Because if we make this, uh, so here it's just rs. So this RS here, prop1BS, is the same as the RS here. Let me see. Okay, we get the right. Calculation there. Up, say, man. This can also just be a loop. No need to do any drop files there. going to be exactly the same minus the function call actually
Let me see. Uh, maybe I can... <clears throat> If any dot as then I have to make the current one a dot. Okay. Otherwise, <coughs> let's see, what if I make the current one a dot and then uh, make hash? Let me see, if I don't do make hash here. I think maybe that's the one making everything go slow. What happens then? No, it's still quite slow. We split at C axis. Okay. And then if the first one is um, a dot, then we have a whole group that contains question marks and um, unknowns. I think we don't have to do it like one point at a time. Um, so we're targeting, we're targeting this calc ops here. Let me see. Okay, even if I make that instant, we're still not, still not good. What is going on here? Oh, changing the calcops mem function. If, okay. Let me go back here and let's see if I make make dot zero as an instant um, it's super fast do make hash zero it's also super fast so it's because I am recurring twice here So make dot, uh, so instead of dropping one, Dot. 
I made this instant, okay, then it's quite a lot faster. Okay. And we can make this instance because if here we actually know that we're going to consume all of these and we are going to uh, use replacement. Okay, so let me check. Uh, so if I have a calc pause, uh, so we do, we have um, then we just have C, we have AS, it's fast. Wait, okay, so if this is, uh, if the next one is a dot, then these are all, um, then these are all question marks, right? But it's not. <laughs> Let me see. Then we have to count the number of. is equal to unknown A's. Uh, no, this is just actually one plus my cache, right? because I might not be using all of them. Let's see. Yeah, it's sad that this tight loop doesn't quite work. I gave 20 more minutes and then I am gonna go sleep.
Okay, and now we're gonna say here Cock up to mem Case uh, Okay, if any, then, um, Comma M um, Prime Helicopter Mem M Prime Okay, then um Big Dot M Prime mm, and then we do Map dot in search uh, M prime um, So here we'll go uh, okay I need to insert this key and make that make that M prime. Let R equals plus uh, cash in and then key is equal to GCS comma X is in R comma method insert key R Prime Prime See here or two prime prime.
Let's see what it does with a bit of memoization. Wow. It did work with memoization, uh, as I suspected. But there were a bunch of the same copies. Let's see. Oh. All right. It took a long time. A uh, total of four hours. Five hours. But we did day 12. Part two. Using memoization. Nice. Let me get status. Git add day 12.hs input example. It is git commit day 12. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, sorry for taking so long. If I just kept on with the memoization, it would have worked. The trick was we needed to make it a bit more simple. Okay, is equal to this. Let's just. Make it the same everywhere. Let me just make sure it still runs. Okay, good. A little bit of memoization, just add a map, keys, and because we're always kind of recurring into the same problem again and again. All right, that's it for today. Sorry for taking extremely long, as I said, but we managed eventually. Thank you for tuning in and come back tomorrow for day 13. All right, bye-bye.